He might just be the MVP for the Auburn Tigers. Kicker Daniel Carlson was the best player last year, and he even scored a touchdown last weekend on that fake field goal. But what you don't see there, the man who does not get credit for that play, that's exactly how Tyler Stovall wants it. His path to college football was anything but normal. Four years ago, life threw him a curveball, and instead of shying away, he rose up, and Auburn's sure glad that he did. Chris Womack explains why. For the best home cooking in Etowah County, just travel up the highway to Beans and Greens, where the dumplings are good. Keep your uh, belly full. But the main entree is a healthy portion of love for a homegrown talent. I am very proud. Brian Stovall's son, Tyler, was an all-state punter and prolific high school pitcher at Hoax Bluff. Reminds me of watching the movie Sandlot. You know, you always knew that he was going to be a good ball player. It's pretty dirty. That would just drop straight off the table. I think the hardest I ever topped out was 96 on the gun. Scouts were drooling over the kid from East Alabama. He was projected as an early pick in the 2008 MLB draft. We was talking about the first three rounds. That was like my cutoff. We were just flat ignorant. We knew nothing about what was happening. The world really started spinning when the Atlanta Braves called in the second round. And just getting to be drafted by the team of my choice, I thought that was, you know, once in a lifetime type of story because it don't really happen very often. If you went not seen him play in high school, you would understand why he was a second round pick. He was just totally dominant. But his rise to the top began to fizzle in the minor leagues. Yeah, I never dealt with failure a lot, and when you get to, you know, um, professional ranks, you're going to deal with failure. Tyler's a perfectionist, and uh, even when I would work with him, you know, I'd say throw the fastball outside. Well, he would throw and make a good pitch, but he would tell you, well, that was about two or three inches outside. I said, well, that's close enough. After four seasons bouncing around the minors, life threw him a curveball. As a curveball, I would just choke up more. Auburn called. They wanted him to play football. When I just sit back and look at it, I've got to do some things that I dreamed as, as a little kid, and to be able to do both baseball and football at a high level, it's pretty awesome. The guy that threw for a living was now catching for Daniel Carlson as the Tigers' starting holder. I'm here for him, and that's like the catcher was for me as a pitcher. They're there for me, call my pitches, help me out, and I'm there for Daniel. I'm gonna, if he wants it slightly, if the wind's blowing a little bit more today, I gotta slightly lean more to the right, get the laces out. As a 27-year-old on a team of teens and early 20s. If I'm not mistaken, I think they call him Pawpaw or something. There are some things he doesn't quite understand. Snapchat, you know, I, I'm, I'm on the Snapchat, but I don't, you know, I just don't know the lingo like they do. But what he does know and can share is how to handle the ups and downs of life. Let loose and have fun. I think sometimes we lose that when we get higher and um, you know, level of sports is we got to keep that fun in it. Live your dream because you never know how to come out. And trying to catch a dream is something anyone can be proud of. In Hoax Bluff, Chris Womack, CBS 42 Sports.